Now, if your Shopify account or store here is showing products uh, as sold out, but you have some in stock actually here, well, there are a few things that we need to understand and we need to do here to solve this issue. So first thing that you want to do is you may want to check your actual inventory. So you want to go to Shopify.com, log in into your account. You want to go to inventory here and you want to go ahead and make sure that the product that you want to show here as stocked is correctly uh, indicated. Now, if you're not aware yet, we all know that in Shopify here, you have the option to add like different locations for your store. So like mine, I have my main one, which is going to be like from Manila. But if you choose like another store here, as you can see, the uh, quantity that you have in there might be different. So that's another thing that you need to keep in mind here. So you want to make sure that whichever location uh, that you want to basically start managing here. So for example, uh, if you want to ship from, for example, from this specific store here, make sure that you have so, uh, so you have a uh, stock of that specific product. Like for example, we have this test product here. Let's go open it up. And you want to go ahead and just go to the inventory section here and just make sure that whichever location here ha you have like stock on it. Let's go and choose, like, for example, this one for this specific store. Let's go and choose the available one. Let's go and choose the new value here. Let's just say 100. Let's go and click on save. And that should actually solve your problem. Now, if you don't want to ship from a specific store here, what you need to do is you want to go and start managing uh, your uh, locations. So you want to go ahead and go to your settings here. And let's go and choose locations. And in here, you want to go and choose, like, for example, this one. You want to go and click on that location. And you just need to disable the fulfillment section here for that store if you don't want to uh, fulfill orders via that location. So you can just disable this if you want to. And that should, generally speaking here, solve your problem. But if you want, you don't, you don't want to do this uh, this way, I would highly recommend you to basically do it manually here and just make sure that your inventory on that specific location is up to date. Now, another thing, another thing that you may want to take note here is sometimes the problem itself is caused by some apps that you've installed, especially if you have like an app that is due or because of in, uh, you, you installed because of inventoring. Well, I would highly recommend you to reach out to customer support, support for that specific app and see if they are having like issues right now on the actual app. Because um, again, sometimes it might be because of the app that you've specifically installed for managing your uh, inventory here but that's about it so hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching